Hey guys, Spirixen here from Team Solo Mid, and this is my basic champion guide to Fizz in the mid lane. Fizz in solo queue is pretty good since he is a very independent kind of champion. Even if you get behind, you can make plays on the map and try to roam and catch up that way. So I generally have a lot of success on Fizz because he is a champion that can get solo kills by himself. He can roam, he can really snowball the game when he gets ahead. And the meta right now is very stale. There are a lot of champions that focus on farming and scaling, and Fizz can take advantage of that. People get used to playing too passive and then end up playing against a really aggressive Fizz. You can't get a lot of kills and you can just take over the map essentially. So I think Fizz is a very good pick to do that. Fizz laning phase is really not the greatest early on. Early on you want to be focusing on just farming and getting... If you can get two Dorans on your first back, that's really good. Then you have a solid plan you can go on from. Uh, around level 6 and 7 after you have your first buy is where Fizz can start taking control of the lane if you're not far behind in CS already. Um, that's where you, you get lower cooldown on your E and you can start playing aggressive, looking for trades, looking for push and roam. And this is where you need to know your power spikes. Fizz is very important that you know how strong you are because early game you can't always trade. And it's going to reach a point where even if you're behind, you're going to be able to fight him. You're going to be able to all in him. So Fizz is all about knowing your limits. And his laning phase can be very bad and can be very good. It's very player dependent. That's why he's hard to play. Team fighting with Fizz, you generally want to be playing him as an assassin still. Um, just going for the back line, pretty much you can actually kill whoever you land your ult on. If you land your ult on one of their carries, that's great, and you can go in for the kill. Uh, but sometimes if they have a bruiser, a lot of champion or a lot of people are playing champions like Gnar and Irelia, and they are still fairly squishy. If you do get your fish on them, you can just completely destroy them. So figure out who you want to be going for in the fights and who is really strong, because when you get your ult on them, the 20% increased damage can let you kill pretty much anyone. And Fizz doesn't have to be like I said, like another assassin where he just blows everything and then goes out of the fight. Fizz is a very consistent team fighter that can keep doing damage and keep doing rotations of his spells. And he's one of the few assassins that do very well in the long team fights. So you don't always have to go for the instant assassination. Sometimes you can play the long game and play safe in the beginning and come clean up later. I think one of the best tips I can give for Fizz players to really surprise someone in lane is the E flash. When you jump on the pole uh, before clicking E the second time, you just flash as you're going down and it's very surprising because people don't really expect it and it's it's pretty much instant and it's it's very hard to avoid so it's something you can do when it happens often that I will E onto someone and they flash away trying to dodge it and then you can flash after them and still get the damage on them. It There's just a lot of situations where I get kills off of this and it happens pretty much every single game. A good tip for more advanced fist players is that you can cast your ult during your Q and um, if you cast it right away, you can just hold your mouse on top of him and you'll essentially cast it as you're going through him. And sometimes if you're closer, you'll get on the other side of him and you have to throw it slightly back. But it's a way of hitting your fish pretty much guaranteed because you're going as you're going through them, you're going to be inside them and you can just drop the fish on top of them. It's something that requires a lot of practice, but it really does pay off because it makes your ult a lot more consistent, especially in teamfights. For Rinse on Fizz, I like to go Magic Pen Reds, HP Scaling Yellows, AP Quints, and usually Flat MR Blues. Flatimer Blues help you get through the early game against a lot of magic damage champions in lane, but if you're against an easy matchup where you're feeling really confident, you can't go for CDR scaling, because Fizz does do very, very well with CDR. Uh, for yellows, you can also switch them out for flat armor if you're against a physical damage matchup or an early game bully. But um, Marks and Quinn should always stay the same because they just maximize your DPS. For masteries on Fizz, I go 21-9-0. Uh, in the offense tree, I get some things that are a little bit different than usual. I like to get the double-edged sword, because Fizz is an assassin that will do a lot of damage, and the additional two damage can let you a kill, so I like to go for that. Also, the spell weaving, because on Fizz, you do do a lot of auto attacks, and I believe your Q will also proc the spell weaving, so it's a nice combo, and it gives you some extra damage with the auto attacks in between your spells. Um, for 9 defense, it just makes you a little bit tankier. You are a physical or a melee champion. Uh, that will take a lot of harass in lane, so the extra block and health regen definitely helps out. For the skill order, I like to go E level 1 usually. It helps you get the push and a tiny bit of harass where you can dodge a skill shot, but essentially with Fizz you just want to survive the early game, so I like to go E at level 1, W at level 2 to farm under turret or push him back a little bit. At 3, you can go another level and E your Q and then start maxing your E. Uh, your E is just your main wave clear tool and it also does a lot of burst damage. After that, you want to max W after the changes because it does do a lot of damage and does the percentage health. So it, you're going to end up doing a lot of damage with your basic attacks in between your combos and like, max your Q last. Of course, get all whenever you can. For this item build, uh, you pretty much always want to start Flask because it gives you the early mana you need. It gives you the early sustain to get through the laning phase. and It's just the best item overall. After that, I like to go one or two Doran's rings for the early game laning strength and also the mana region since Fizz does use a lot of mana. After that, I 
usually go for the Morello Nomicon because the CDR is very nice on Fizz. Having your playful trickster up as much as you can also helps with wave clear. And you lost your previous wounds due to the nerfs, but you now still have it using the Morellos. So after Morellos, I usually end up going for Sheen into Zhonya's is the most common build because you still need Sheen on Fizz. It is a core item that helps you do damage throughout the game. And Zhonya's, of course, for team fights, you need to be invulnerable and it can give you another playful trickster. Uh, after getting Morellos and Sheen, you want to be looking to get either CDR boots or Sorcerer shoes. It's it's pretty player dependent. It's really what you prefer, and you can try out both things and see what you like. But after getting the Sheen and Zhonya's, you want to be looking to get Void Staff because you're an assassin and you're going to be killing people. And after Void, you can pretty much go anything Abyssal, Deathcap, whatever you feel like you really need in the game. Thanks for watching this guide to Fizz Mid. You can find more of my videos on lawcast.com.